in Wisconsin. And here's where we stand tonight. There are now 628 cases of the coronavirus in Wisconsin. More than half, 333, are in Milwaukee County. Three counties are seeing their first cases of COVID-19, including Grant, Iowa, and Monroe counties. Those are all out west. More than 10,000 people have tested negative. Unfortunately, the number of deaths continues to rise as well. Seven people in Wisconsin have now died from COVID-19. Two more new deaths reported today. We've got team coverage tonight. Aaron Maven with the tough task of enjoying the beautiful day out there, but trying to maintain social distancing. Bill Miston with the tragic details about one of those most recent deaths. We have to start with Suzanne Spencer live in Grafton with an important story. There is new concern tonight. Employees at long term care facilities may be spreading the virus in Ozaki and Washington County, Suzanne. Ben, this is really where it all began at Village Point Commons in Grafton. On Friday, there were five confirmed COVID-19 cases. Today, that number has nearly doubled. What has happened here in Grafton is now occurring at several other long-term care facilities that the health departments are continuing to monitor. While life has slowed on the streets of Port Washington, there is a cloud over Ozaki and Washington counties that isn't getting any lighter. These are people's lives. Five long-term health care facilities are now COVID-19 outbreak sites, and six more are expected to join the list by Friday. Village Point Commons in Grafton is where it all started. We've done a targeted effort at testing people in that facility specifically to stop the spread. Five positive tests on Friday jumped to 13 on Wednesday, including the death of 91 year old Robert Blackbird. My dad was was ready to go, but I think none of us really knew the severity of this. On Saturday, health officials placed all long term facilities in Washington and Ozaki counties on lockdown and required personal protective equipment for first responders. Locking down one facility doesn't solve the problem if it's actually the staff and caregivers that are potentially the vectors of the virus. On Wednesday, even more orders after their disease tracing showed caregivers and staff traveling between facilities are likely the ones spreading COVID-19. They use staffing agencies, but also that there's hospice providers that may go into one, two, or even up to six facilities in in a week. The new set of orders mandates health workers stay at one facility. The way that staffing for these facilities is structured is it, it increases the risk in a, in a pandemic and we want to reduce that risk as much as we can. So kind of taking a step back here, Ozaki has 20 confirmed cases and Washington County has 21. So the cases reported at these facilities aren't necessarily all of the cases for each county, but health officials tell me they are targeting these long term care facilities and in particular for testing and also expediting the results so they can really isolate that threat and try to stop the spread of COVID-19 cases. Reporting live in Grafton, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. The concern really the ages of the people inside these facilities. Suzanne, thank you.